Beloved ones, we wish to assist you in an experiential moment of moving through the brainwaves. Now, it may well be that some of you, especially at different times, may go to sleep during certain components of this message. This going to sleep is that your third dimensional brain can not begin to understand this. It has no place unto which it can adhere. There is no mailbox through which the letter can be delivered. You are offline. Therefore, you go to sleep. And when you go to sleep, you go out of your beta waves and into your alpha waves. And in your alpha waves, you are continuing. And just like you may not always remember all of your dreams, they still influence your daily life. So if you have trouble moving through all of this message and you go to sleep, that is fine. The message is there in your higher frequency of brainwaves. The message begins with you tuning in to your physical body. And as you tune into your physical body, you give your physical body unconditional love. You say, physical body, I love you unconditionally. I forgive you unconditionally. Dear physical body, I accept you unconditionally. Now we begin with that mantra because that mantra on its own, whenever you just say the word unconditional love, unconditional forgiveness, unconditional acceptance, the words are so important that it activates the higher brain waves just by thinking the words. And when you say them, you create a thought form that collects within your aura. And even after you have forgotten that you have called upon these higher brain waves, your aura hell still has those thought form messages stored. And whenever you release that addictive third dimensional processing that has trapped you in the illusions of time, whenever you experience a brief moment of the now, those thought forms can hover towards you like a hummingbird that comes and stops just before you as if to give you a personal message. Now we do not have to spend most of your time on beta wave consciousness. Just imagine yourself driving your car, going to work, paying your bills, getting up early to get the kids off to school, packing the lunches, etc., etc. You know very much about Beta Wave. Now, we move into Alpha Wave Consciousness. Alpha Wave Consciousness is something that you can experience when you are doing something that you love to do being someplace that you love to be, being with someone that you love to be with. Alpha wave consciousness feels creative. It feels fun and imaginative. Now hold that energy field of being somewhere with someone doing something that you love. Now, Theta Wave Consciousness, this takes you into the higher dimensions in which your physical body can often not travel. So it is important before you meditate into Theta Wave Consciousness that you are sitting in a safe place. 
No, you are not walking. You are not driving a car. Uh, you are not even meditating in a public place. You are in a place, an energy field that you have prepared, perhaps an area of your house where you always meditate, or an area in your yard that you feel great unity with Mother Gaia. And it is helpful that whenever you wish to have these theta wave meditations, that you go to the same spot, and even in the same time, because your third dimensional brain is has habit. So if you always do it when you first wake up, or always do it before you go to bed, or always do it in the middle of the day, your third dimensional mind will unconsciously begin to prepare for this gift, this boost of energy that it doesn't know what it is, but it greatly enjoys the feeling of it. And so you go to this place within that time and you experience whatever form of meditation has worked for you within your nowness. And as you move deeper and deeper, and you surrender in to your meditation. You let go into your meditation. You allow your third dimensional thoughts to be released. You allow your worries to be released. The time that you have left is to be released. You move out of time, out of responsibility, out of duty, into the now. And within this now, the sensations of your body become strangely amplified. For this is the brainwave that activates your kundalini force. Now we say to all of you, do not ever even begin to attempt to activate your kundalini force unless you are in constant communication with a higher being and or a teacher. This is a major transmutation of every component of your reality and of your physical form. And it will change everything in your life, beginning with your eating. You will no longer be able to tolerate vast amounts of food that you once enjoyed. You will no longer be able to tolerate certain energy fields that perhaps you once enjoyed. You will no longer be able to tolerate certain people that perhaps you once enjoyed. You are beginning to log out of the third dimensional matrix. Therefore, when you have these theta wave meditations, you need to remember that if you are getting too far out of your body, you need to take a break and ground and not do the theta wave meditations for a while because you are meant to stay with Gaia. You are meant to maintain the connection. And so much as you might practice jumping up in the air on a trampoline. At first you can just jump a little ways and then that's all you can do. And then you have to practice to jump higher. But you have to remember to always return to the trampoline. So as you move up into the higher theta wave consciousness, theta wave meditation, then you come back down to earth. For that is what you have volunteered to do. It is within your particular personal ascension path to determine the manner in which you learn Theta Wave Consciousness. This is not something that we would do to the masses because Theta Wave Consciousness and Theta Wave Activation will activate your Kundalini. And this is something that is very serious and you need to be under supervision. Delta Wave Consciousness 
is when you are unconscious. There are many experiences of beings that have been under deep anesthetic, and even though they are free of their bodies and are fortunately feeling no pain, they are able to look down at themselves on the surgical table and hear what the doctor said, and later on repeat what the doctors have said. There are many people who have had near-death experiences and have come back and are able to remember what occurred and to repeat what occurred. Blessings, and we shall return.